Hi guys, my name is Ina Dabrinina. I'm Ukrainian. I was born in Ukraine. I grew up there and then I started to travel. I started to travel more than seven years ago and when I started the war in Ukraine, I was abroad. I lived in Poland and I rented an apartment there, but my parents for that moment, they were in Ukraine. My mom and my grandma, they still live in my hometown. The name of this uh, town Kriviri. You can see now on the map where it's located. And uh, actually it was a quite okay situation there, but I always was afraid maybe uh, it's gonna be harder and then it will be impossible for them just to move out. That's why every time I tried to push them to come to my place to Poland. But my mom, she always said to me, you just rent that apartment, it's totally impossible that we're gonna come there because my mom, she's 61 years old, my grandma, she's 82 years old. And then in two weeks after war started, uh, Russian soldiers start to fly my uh, hometown. Exactly in that moment, my parents decided to move out. They came to my place, to Poland. Uh, we spent in uh, Warsaw, in Poland, two weeks. And then I was thinking to move somewhere abroad because a lot of people just uh, came from Ukraine to Poland and Poland became a kind of a Ukrainian Poland or Polish Ukraine. I don't know how to explain that, but it was pretty weird. And uh, I decided that we need to move on. And uh, I chose uh, Sweden. Now uh, we stay in this beautiful and nice house in our host family. Uh, our host family is uh, Paul and uh, Lotta, and they have a 20 years old son. They are amazing and they cooked dinner when we just arrived. They made us to feel ourselves at home. Uh, they made for us too many different things. They always tried uh, and still trying to help us. And uh, they cook us unbelievable dinner and uh, made that uh, home and cozy atmosphere. Uh, what we feel every day when we have dinner together. And now we are here more than one month. We already got uh, that kind of cards. Uh, me, my mom and my grandma. Uh, this is a residence for us, how you know guys probably watch my channel uh, in English. It means that I can stay here one year. I can work also here and now I'm looking for a job. And um, it's quite difficult for Ukrainian refugee to find a job here because my background is uh, pretty nice because I lived in Singapore, I lived in Italy, I speak uh, five languages. Uh, during that uh, time what I live abroad, I got a different experience, but it's still pretty difficult when you are in you in some country and you are looking for a job, especially for Ukrainian refugees. Everything what people offered me here, it just uh, at work as a waiter. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm looking for some job as a content creator or maybe event uh, coordinator, uh, event specialist or project manager. So guys, if you have any kind of uh, offers for me to work with you, I'm super open. Now you know, I'm open for a job. And uh, now we stay in Marstrad. Marstrad in Sweden is uh, an island and it's quite a touristic place. So now we are here in this island. So it looks like that. And I'm gonna show you opposite side. So now we see all of that area. So basically we live in that island and uh, we came by that ferry and uh, we spent some time and then uh, ferry goes every 15 or 20 minutes.
look at this beautiful building i don't know what is here but basically it's nobody here because this is kind of old island and uh, actually here live only old people their children they have not enough money to live in that houses what they left them usually so basically they sell all of that houses when their parents die would like to move to Stockholm but it's also pretty difficult first uh, because I still don't have a work and second that uh, the person who gonna come to any place uh, they supposed to pay for two months uh, to rent apartment so I still don't know what should I do uh, when uh, will I move there I hope you liked uh, this small video this is just uh, my first video so please just support me subscribe uh, that channel and uh, finger up